Today I want to show you how I use erasers as drawing tools. I use a kneaded eraser and an electric eraser to create this. Now this is just the first layer of charcoal, it's a work in progress, but I want to show you how I got to this point. I started with a blank canvas, I sketched out the drawing, I added a heavy layer of charcoal, And then I brush it out to spread the charcoal all over. And then I started drawing with erasers. All right, so I'm gonna start out by demonstrating the use of the kneaded eraser. Uh, you like to rip these in half or make them smaller so they're a little more manageable. And then I just take it and work it down to more of a point and start removing charcoal. Typically, I'll start with the kneaded eraser and then work lighter and lighter where I bring in the electric eraser. But sometimes I'll go the opposite direction too. I'll start with the electric eraser, get some real bright whites and then fade it into the charcoal. You see now I've flattened it a little bit. I can take off a little more at a time. And then I use different pressures to get it different texture on it. Sometimes I'm not quite sure what I'm going to get, so I go on really light, really light pressure. And just work it. Push harder and harder until I get what I'm looking for. And if it's a little rough, a little raw, the texture, the look of it, that's fine for now. Just start to give it a little more dimension. And I'll come back in and rework it and I have a few other techniques I'm going to show later on that help with some of the blending as well. Important not to get too caught up and worried about the detail right now. Just finding those highlights, locking it in really at this point. Take this and just for the really smaller areas and finer detail and just mold it into a bit of a point. And just go through and hit those highlight areas. Then when I want it, if I want it to be any even brighter. I'll show you in a minute. I'll come back in with with electric eraser, and sometimes it's nice to pinch it down to where it's kind of an edge, and come in and get some really thin areas. But then I can also lay it flat and drag. It. Start to get a little more pressure at one end and then drag it and lift. All right, as you can see, I'm making some pretty good progress on this. I don't do this with every project, but with this one, I did go through the entire drawing first with the kneaded eraser and did all the softer, more subtle highlights, erased those out. And now I'm working on going back through with the electric eraser on the, the brighter whites, taking more charcoal off of it for the beads and the really shiny parts of the buckles. So I'm pretty close to being done with this horse on the left. Now I'm gonna go in on the horse on the right. I'm gonna bring the camera in close and get some detail and show you exactly how I'm doing that. So this disc right here by the ear is a really, really bright white along with the buckle next to it. I'm gonna go and hit both of those with the electric eraser and clean it up even more. Sometimes I will stop spinning it and still use the eraser. Take that and blend it down just a bit. And I don't have as hard of a, a line there. 
This does the reflection on it, has some some more variation in it. Yeah, I can soften those edges a little bit by not spinning the tip. All right, so that pretty well does it for the first layer of charcoal. I'll go through and uh, clean it up, fine tune it a little bit. Because one thing I have to keep in mind with this process that I use with the charcoal on canvas is once I finish the first layer and spray it with acetone and fixative, there's no going back. Like I can't erase anymore because it'll then be sealed to the canvas. I'll come in and add more value, another layer of charcoal, and then even a third layer that I can't erase anymore. So I really take my time to get this first layer exactly how I want it. So anyway, I hope those tips helped on how I use the kneaded eraser and the electric eraser. If you have any more questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Um, and again, if you want to check out my website, I've got a bunch of artwork available there, joelpilcherart.com, and I appreciate any support. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.